tell Tone it's some real money in the room. I seen um, in a clip that you did, an interview clip. Um, well, not a clip that you did, but a clip of somebody else. Um, and they essentially, um, you know, and, and it's crazy for me to even speak on this because it's like, where's the line get drawn in the gangster world? You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand, okay, the politics, then this work, contract skits, stuff like that. But it's like, when people are getting on the internet and saying, uh, well, Brick Baby needs to check in, he's getting DP for what went on on No Jumper. Um, and we seen it was a guy named 600 who went on the internet and that said can't this. come to the, but go ahead. Um, well, he essentially went online and said that um, he was calling for the DP. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's a troll, bro. He didn't see us all alive together with them. He was telling cuz that he ain't from the hood. And, and he never, like, he's never, and that's my homeboy, but he ain't really from, I mean, that was my previous homeboy, but he's never been, he's just a cool guy that grew up around there, went to college, left, was oh, he went to college. came back, you know what I mean? Right. Part of the community, a lot of people know him up there. Right. You know what I mean? Right. He can't call. He, he he would never be able to call my DP. So so why like why like 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 is there no regulation on who can say stuff like that? Like that's yeah, a pretty a big thing to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can't just be saying that on the internet. But to my no, knowledge, so I'm but not he trying says to... everything crazy on the internet about the hood, and then like you would think he was like the main person over there. Right, and talk. to us, you yeah. know, on the internet, and it's then, like. Check he, his background every time he's saying that. He's never over there saying that. So it's like, you haven't, what are you talking about? Right. You know, it's real they street. Were, ain't going to show their background. You don't know. No, he, but he shows his background all the time. Right. Right. <laughs> like, he's not, that's what I'm saying. Once again, he's not really the smartest street. Right. Right, right, right. He's not. That's my boy, but he's not. Right. So... He got like a, a death wish. He like talks about everybody until it's like, you know what I mean? Like he different. Yeah, and I was about to ask, so like he what? like GBO gas and just buff. What, what, what happens like, you know what I'm saying? Like You gotta catch him first, it's the new world. You got some money, you don't live where everybody else live at. You gotta catch him. Gotta oh, so you can just say what you want in. And then I. Right. Everybody else loading on the Instagram, pull up, did it? There's never an address. Right. Or if it is, it's like something that's super on camera, on safe. You know what I mean? Like a safe location to link up. Right. Street ain't never been safe. Right. Um. Here's my here's my final question to you, Rick. As I'm looking at um, well, let me ask this. Uh, how how'd you feel when um? You saw Adam interview um, T-Rail's brother. He messy. But, I mean, <laughs> that's Adam. I mean, how did I feel when I see the interview Snoopy Badass for the second time? I mean, shout out Big Deal. You funny. Shout out T-Rail. I mean, he just making the most out the city. That's his op. If his brother could, wanted to come up there and do an interview. Adam got an op. Is that the real op? T-Rail is, T-Rail is a real op. Yeah, that's the op. They got a real op. They really They be popping it back and forth. Right. You know what I'm saying? You finally got one of the disloyal family members to pull up on you. you right. Know you right. got a dress the Right. Adam stands no business by interviewing the family member, that's yeah. like, that's personal. Yeah, because it could have been some sneak sh- He could have went up there, did something to Adam, but he went. Right. But yeah. you know, <laughs> if you got an app and you could get his brother on the interview in this dirty YouTube oh, world. Man, that's it's so a, terrible. Yeah, it's a plus. Yeah. Yeah. It's a plus. I'm fully YouTube. Right. I'm an internet. <laughs> I'm one of them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I, these streets. They they getting on YouTube and the internet too, so I guess I'm just I'm even separate for the street. I'm just all YouTube. I'm a troll at this point. That was a stunt, and right. I showed it last week. It wasn't. When when you had the opportunity to um to to sit down and um meet OG Percy, 
Um, and I know we got to talk about it with OG Percy, which people haven't got the opportunity to see, see yet. yet. Yeah. Um, but you actually got to meet OG Percy in person. Um, That's cool. Yeah. Um, how did you feel about him? Uh, he remind me of the old around the city. I always wanted to give you some advice and pop war stories with you and all that. OG. Right. Right. Yeah, he ain't, I mean, like I said, I just said that about, I don't have a problem with it. We both started on the internet reporting on each other and all that. Right. We met each other. He a gangster, you can tell from his stories and his, you know what I mean, how he rotate. <laughs> he, he got the vibe for me, he know what I'm on, you know right. what I'm saying? And I think that we got, right. yeah, we, we damn near could continue to keep on pressing. Because right. I'm always with the building the bridge and eliminating ops with right. peace. Right, right, I right. mean, as a black man, you got to start telling the young people what they got to, you know what I mean? what they don't want to hear, so they, but they see people that they admire doing this, they they might like tone it down some, like, oh, I could do that too, I'm letting that stop my money. With, with OG Percy being um, from Hoover and you being a 60, were you at all worried as far as like it being a conflict of interest? No. Nah. Not at the point of us saying we gonna pull up on each other. Does that happen like often between those two? Nah, but I know that out of town at the Hoovers love the 60s. It ain't really, like like you said, it's crip out here. You see what I was getting yeah, at with the yeah, tone? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 like you said, it's crip. I understood what you were saying, but even with it being crip, because it's still out Hoovers there, that like press that. crip. But right. it's, you know what I mean? Like, we still can't politic on them. Right. Or Here. with them. We can politic on them amongst ourselves, right. you know what I'm saying? But our politics hold no weight in their community. You know what I mean? Like, we'll politic on them and then we have to go do something to them, but it ain't with their consent. They politics are within they self and they give consent to their homies to discipline and whatever they got to do. Right. That's how that goes. Um, man, anything, shout out Brick Baby, you know what I'm saying? Man, listen, man, you already know. The Kill Squad captain, man, dead of me. Sure, anything you want to let the people know that you didn't let the people know? Man, listen. If you guys separate my job from y'all real lives, y'all will live at peace. Because the shit that I be having going on, it don't concern nobody. So when they butt into it, it makes everything bad because I'm not no but then they, they say I'm decking phase and doing all this. Do you know I'm the n What am I pulling up on a crumb fighting because he jealous folk that I ain't never met before? What, what, what do that make sense? When do that ever make sense? Hmm. Yo, you and Wack have never met? Never met Wack. Well, he don't want to fight. You call the people up to no jumper to fight. Like, come on, bro. You want me to come up to a white man's establishment to duke it out? This is, that's why I said people are giving him the keys to Adam, the keys to gang politics. He holding Thunderdomes up there. He got snitch politics, gang politics on snitch up there. He having hood meetings on camera. I remember, no, Jumper was about to rap, man. Now it's like, it, it, it really is a place you go to on some street. To oh, vent man. in the vent, like yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, with that and tell the good why? Right. They good content, though. Good content. Right. But and they it. go straight to the white man. Do it. Uh, yeah, they willingly. So right. and, and that's you my can't be mad at that. Adam, like, Adam my homie. Hey, get right. your chili. If that's what they gonna do. Right. You know what I'm saying? He make them feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I guess comfortable enough to do what they gotta do. But you know what I'm saying? It's more content coming. I'm gonna keep on going crazy. Uh, it's a special surprise this week too, man. I posted the cover, man. The fans gonna give me a name. So I don't know, man. It's a whole lot going on this week, man. Type kill squad. Kill kill it's the brick, man. Not the trick, man. You already know what it is. Listen, like I said once again, separate my job from my real life, man, and I, from your real life, cause I don't even know you. So it's like. 
the ones that I know that got my number, we could call and all that, bro. Y'all could put y'all input. But listen, man, I'm doing my own thing, man, and it's just how I'm coming. Please don't come in my path with that bullshit. Every that cross my path, guaranteed I be having the same energy. It don't be. So I'm like, all these rumors and all that or what it don't do to me. What it is. Hey, listen, man, it's Brick. Stay tuned in, man, because I'm going to keep going crazy. Tune in. Hey, real tone, it's some real money in the room.